Meanwhile, hundreds take to the picket line today in Sheboygan County. They're worried about their jobs in our economy, your future. Negotiations between Kohler and its union workers continue, but now a deadline for a new contract is approaching. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has both sides. Santa and his elf walked through crowds of people, but there's nothing jolly about why they're here. There's no reason why I gotta, you know, pay that much more in insurance, um, take a wage cut or freeze, or have somebody come in and do my job, you know, for half the money. I just don't think it's fair. That's why these picketers say they're out here. Kohler officials say because of a tough economy, it needs to freeze wages for five years, lower pay for new employees, and raise insurance premiums in the union workers' new contract. But union workers and their families say that's too much. The hardest part is, for me right now, Christmas. How do I provide for my kids for Christmas? And it's, it's heartbreaking to tell your kids, well, you may have to wait till tax time because that might be all we can do. And they want something similar to their old contract. Just from insurance to no flex force to um, just keeping your workers here. Kohler spokesperson Todd Weber says the company is working on a contract that compromises with the union. One that achieves the issues that we're addressing is to keep our facilities uh, sustainable for the long term and also providing a contract to the employees that's fair and equitable. The good thing is they're still negotiating um, and uh, you know, they've been doing that for the last several weeks. Um, they've had sessions for the last several days. Well, that's always a good sign, you know, if they're willing to talk. While some say they're optimistic about the negotiations going on right now, others think a strike is on its way. I really do. If the proposal is still what it was uh, two months ago, probably. But both sides agree that's not what they want and hope this display will be the last. In Kohler, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. Kohler officials say negotiations will continue through tomorrow and then union members will vote on a contract on Sunday.